is uh, Chet from Tag along with Chet here. And uh, we're just setting the airplane up to uh, do a little flying. It's another one of these beautiful days out here. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's happening out here. October is uh, unreal for this uh, part of the world. It's supposed to go up to 23 or something today, and it's uh, the 3rd of October. And uh, apparently, it's supposed to continue <laughs> for the another five or seven days anyway, as long as the forecast, uh, uh, the, the forecast that I've got. Just uh, get this thing all set up here, and you can just watch what I'm doing here. Because I don't want to forget anything. I get a little forgetful in my old age here. Documents. Controls. There we go. Welcome traffic, it's uh, Cherokee, Charlie, Charlie, November, taxi from the East Hangars for the ramp, for the run-up. Welcome traffic, Charlie, Charlie, November. Like I'm going to be doing a backtrack. All right, let's do this run up here. Okay, the rest is on takeoff, and my door is closed. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that. Traffic Charlie, Charlie, November, taxiing uh, for uh, runway 16 will advise entering for the backtrack. 
Vulcan traffic, Charlie, Charlie, November, entering the back track for runway 16, Vulcan. That little cover on that uh, camera because uh, it gets pretty hot. So as you can see, I got reflector tape on there. Or actually, it's yeah, just some tin foil, and that reflects it. Reflects the sun off of it anyway. Fuel pumps on, fuel selector transponders on, uh, alt, parking brake, torpedo heat lights on, mixture set. Okay, time. Straight at departure. Vulcan traffic, Cherokee, Charlie, Charlie, November, departing runway 16, it'll be a southerly departure. Okay, airspeed's alive. Got 60. 70. Cherokee, Charlie, Charlie, November, rear borne off 16, we're five nautical miles south of the field, changing en route, presently climbing through 4,600. Silvery. It almost seems like you're looking at an airplane coming at you. So that's why it was kind of altering course here. But yeah, it turns out it was just uh, a farm roof in the reflection. And yeah, we're doing a normal little little thing. I, I'm changing the routing a little bit here. I'm basically heading out uh, southbound and. Uh, We'll see where we end up, I'm not quite sure. Might just stay, uh, fly this for another 10 or 15 minutes and then just sort of head eastbound. See if we can get this fuel flow down here a bit. Normally cruise is at about 75% power. There we go, there's a sweet spot there. 5500 is 2625. Uh, well, let's pull her back a little bit more here. Yeah, there she is. 26, uh, 23, 28, and she's burning about 8.3 8 here, so that's about book figures, I guess, and what am I doing here? 
Well, that's not bad. Doing about a hundred and uh, let's see. Wow, 124 miles an hour, which is 115. That's not bad at all. Okay, this is another uh, solar farm just east of Claire's home. Uh, they're popping up left, right, and center of this neck of the world. I just check it on the angle of the camera. Sometimes I got the camera face so that it looks like I'm flying sideways, but uh, I think it's okay. I think I'll head over to uh, a strip just uh, north of Lethbridge. Got a buddy of mine that uh, bought an airplane just recently, and I think that's where he has it, or that's where uh, he's got to pick it up from. Maybe sometime this week. Hey, we'll try uh, 123 decimal 375. Well, he just went over the uh, strip. That's just uh, northeast of uh, Lethbridge. Looks like a pretty nice strip, actually. And. Uh, and those hangars at the end, that's where uh, where that aircraft is. But uh, Mike will be picking up pretty soon. So uh, it's a uh, 75 Cherokee, so it's two years newer than this one. And he bought it last week. That in front of us, that's a Keyhole Lake, they call it. And there's a little golf course on it, too, a Keyhole Golf Course. It's uh, just on this side of the lake there. You can just probably see it. It's, it's right over there. It's a little nine-hole golf, golf course. But you can see it's also used, uh, obviously, for irrigation because it's got a canal flowing into it up in the far, far north corner there. That's the uh, northwest corner there. And then there's one flowing. Uh, out of it, and it runs this way through the farmlands here. That's where the farmers get all their their water from. That's why you see all these big circles out in the ground out there where they have the uh, irrigation system. So I've been up for 45 minutes already, so uh, it's going to be another 20 minutes to get home. There, I'll take a picture of this golf course down here.
still nice and green, eh? There's a little island out there. And there's the uh, canal I was talking to, to you about. Right over there. Keyhole Lake. Okay, better get back on track here. Because I'm a little bit off here. As you can see, there. I'm supposed to be uh, right there. Oh. So let's tell this thing. flying but I'll be I'll be back in about 15 20 minutes so uh, I should be back uh, overhead the airport in about 12 minutes it says here oh yeah no problem no problem at all so uh, we'll see you when you when you get there yep not, not to hurry just take your time did you go in town to, into town I see, okay. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. Boy, that is neat. <laughs> I really like that. That uh, Bluetooth works like a darn. So I just give the wife the ETA and, uh, going to come down and give us some lunch. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that Bluetooth uh, comes in real handy, especially if you've got a, a radio problem and you have to get a hold of air traffic control or something. You can uh, you can use the phone instead. Now, what's neat about this um, Bluetooth, or not about the Bluetooth, but about this uh, headset that I've got, uh, it's not a, an expensive one. It's a, I forget, a seven, seven hundred and fifty bucks or something. And um, that, that's Canadian, by the way. And uh, it's got an indicator on here. It tells you uh, 
it just flashes off and on. It tells you, uh, where you what your battery level is. And uh, right now, like when you, when it's really good, it gets green. And then gradually the green starts fading out to a point where you know at some point in time you're probably going to have to change the battery. And it's usually after maybe an hour or so after that. Uh, it's probably less than that or more than that because uh, it's been sort of a, a pale green turning yellow to indicate that, you know, take caution, uh, it's going to quit on you at some point and just become a normal uh, headset. But um, it takes a couple of, I believe it's AA batteries. So the headset's good for, I don't know, about, I would say four hours at least, probably more like five. Yeah, oh well, yeah, at least five. So I usually carry some spare batteries uh, in my uh, in my bag here. I mean, I carry batteries for just about everything. I, my spot, of course, it needs them. Well, it's 57 minutes, and they're way in the distance out there. It is Vulcan. you're right there. So what we'll do is stay to the east of the field, then do a flyover, and then uh, from the east side of town. Don't hear anybody in the frequency. We'll turn the landing light on now. Just south of town here, you can see there's uh, we've got another another solar panel or solar farm there. Just a small one. It went up uh, a few months ago. Well, it was finished a few months ago. I'm not quite sure. It's a, it's a very small one, but uh, I don't know what it supplies. It probably plows in or hooks into the grid as well. So, but uh, as you can see, it's just south of town. And then there'll be another one right over that area, right down, right where my wing, in front of my wingtip there, there'll be another one built uh, sometime, uh, probably uh, next year. We'll start on that. Well, the traffic, it's uh, Cherokee Charlie Charlie in November. We're uh, five nautical miles to the uh, east of the field, or the east southeast of the field. At 5,500 on a gradual descent for an overhead arrival, anticipating a right downwind for 1.6. Vulcan traffic is Cherokee, Charlie, Charlie, November. And we'll be on a gradual descent for, uh, well, I guess we'll be uh, descending to 5,000 feet for uh, an overhead arrival. Vulcan traffic, Charlie, Charlie, November. the town.
Vulcan traffic, Charlie Charlie November, right base, runway 16 Vulcan. Little daytime heating turbulence coming into effect here. Vulcan traffic, Charlie Charlie November, turn final, runway 16 Vulcan. Two hundred minimums. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. Welcome traffic, Charlie, Charlie, no hours clear, runway 16, Vulcan. Well, thanks again for coming along, folks. It was a great little flight, good weather. So we'll just taxi her off here and uh, head off to the hangar and call it a day. So... We'll see you next time. Bye for now.